Good evening everyone and welcome to Los Cristianos Tenerife. I'm going to run through today my top 10 picks for this winter, whether you're coming in the festive period or out of those festive areas, I'm going to give you my top 10 picks for this winter for here in Tenerife. If you're new to the channel, a big welcome. I do live here in Los Cristianos and if you're returning, welcome back. I hope these few do uh, help you out. Going through the last few winters that I've been here before COVID as well, these are my favourite things to do during the winter time and hopefully it might help some of you out and help you have an amazing time when you come over to Tenerife this winter. So this video is sponsored by Sanasti Car Hire. That is my company. If you are looking to get around and do some different things this winter, Car Hire is always very busy at my company, sanasti.com. Do give us an inquiry and we will try and help you out. We've been running for 40 years in Los Cristianos and we've got a variety of different cars. So if you are interested, the link will be in the description. I'm also gonna mention as well, because it's, there's a variety of different things I'm gonna run through, spread across the South. I'm also going to mention the buses. Uh, you can jump on the bus. There is a different Bono card that you can get. You can get a 10 euro daily Bono card or you can get a weekly Bono card for 50 euros. So if you don't want to rent a car, uh, you can also get around on the public bus, the Titsa bus, and you can either buy a daily pass for 10 euros or you can buy a weekly pass for 50 euros or you can just pay as you go. And if you're just going to do one or two journeys, just pay for that journey with the driver. So starting off with number one, and that is Los Cristianos and Santa Cruz lights. Now they put up some lovely festive lights. They've just started putting them up today. It is the 24th of October, and a lot of the lights are already going up in the middle of the town center there in Los Cristianos is stunning at nighttime. When all the lights are on and it's dark, it is very festive, very picturesque. You've got the church square there as well. Also in Santa Cruz looks very pretty at night time and that's something that you can do for free as well just to get in the festive mood you can have a little wander around as that is my first top pick that is a little wander through Los Cristianos town with the lights all on when it's dark and also Santa Cruz which is a little bit further on. Um, number two for me with a similar theme is the Safari Center at night time. Again they already have some gorgeous lights they've got the fountain there as well in the middle which goes off. They have a music sequence that goes off every night as well, a bit of a fountain show. But over Christmas time, over the festive period, they do change the music on that and that make it nice and festive and fun. But it's just a gorgeous area to be down there any time this winter of an evening. It's all lit up, very picturesque, very nice, and some great restaurants down there as well to try out. Uh, so definitely recommend a visit to the Golden Mile and the Safari Center as well, especially they have the tree up all the Christmas lights and it looks spectacular. My third top pick is something to do in the daytime now and that is a boat trip. I highly recommend a trip out on the Muscat catamaran. Uh, that's not sponsored, they're just my top pick uh, for a boat trip, they're my favorite and I know they run throughout the winter and you can go out there on the ocean where it's freezing at cold at home, wherever you're from. Here, gorgeous sunshine, you can be out on the ocean, whale and dolphin spotting, getting in with nature. You can have a few drinks on the boat, soak up the sunshine, and it's just something really nice to do over here anyway, but in particular when it's cold and drizzly at home, you can send all your mates that you're out on a boat, on the ocean, and it really does feel good. It gives you that real feel good, nice fresh air, sea air as well. So that's my number three is Muscat Catamaran. Get yourself out there. They do a couple of different trips, and go and enjoy a nice whale and dolphin trip. Number four is one that you might not have really thought about, and that is Siam Park. It is open all through the winter, despite a lot of people think it does close, it doesn't. And it is actually very quiet. A lot of the residents here, the Spanish, they are not interested in going. They think it's far too cold. But if you want to brave it, you put a rash vest on or even a half wetsuit. Uh, it is warm enough. You might be a little bit chilly when you get on and off the rides, but if you don't mind that, it's great to get in there. You can still sunbathe on the beach. It's nice and warm but the wait times for the slides are very, very low. You won't need fast passes. You can have a great day in there and it's lovely and quiet during the winter. So that is another one of my top picks, which is Siam Park. You can reserve those tickets online. Uh, they're 38 euros each for adults. 
very quick and easy on their website and you can even decide very close to time i wouldn't worry about buying tickets in advance for the winter because it's so quiet if you see it's going to be a lovely day say tomorrow and you're here and you fancy it just book online get your tickets on your phone and get straight in there but that is uh, the next recommendation Siam park fifth on the list is del duque beach a nice little beach day down at del duque my favorite beach uh, that's why i've gone for that one it's a lovely area you've got shops around it lovely restaurants lovely bars and it's just my favorite beach big thick padded sunbeds that you can rent very again very aesthetically pleasing i love the the, the canopies as well over the sunbeds that whole area is pristine so that is my next choice definitely del duque beach if you're looking for a beach this winter here in south tenerife Following that, I'm going to go with another evening theme, and it's another great choice. There is a full video on this on the channel that you can check out if you want to, and that is the Chinese Lantern World in Adeki. Uh, we will be taking uh, the family there this winter as well, which I will vlog. And when my family are over in November, we're going to be going. But as it gets darker a bit earlier, you can get in a little bit earlier as well with the kids. Chinese Lantern World, we did it last year, it was brilliant, and I think this winter is going to be even better. So definitely check out Chinese Lantern World. Again, I'm not sponsored, that's just my uh, top pick for this winter. It's something great for the kids in particular, that one. They've got all kinds of different sculptures from around the world, and also a very unique, different style restaurant right in the middle of it, which is a very unique style if you wanted a bite to eat and a drink in there as well, if you wanted to make a whole night of it. I think it's uh, reasonably, very reasonably priced, even if you just want to go in for an hour or so. Uh, so that is one of my other top picks. Next up is a visit to Tady National Park. In particular, if it rains down here, or if we get a bit of uh, rainy weather, it can be snowy up there. If you do get snow, um, make sure first that you can drive up there. You can check, I will leave the link in the description. You can check the access roads are all open if you get snow up there in particular it is amazing to see even if you haven't got snow you can be down here on the beach in 20 degrees and you can go up there and it'll be minus five it's a huge contrast and i really recommend a visit up there in the winter it's stunning it's cold it's a really unique contrast make sure you do take plenty of jackets and warm clothes with you and as i said do check the access roads if they do get snow up there make sure the roads are open but if they are you can drive up you can also get the bus or get a coach trip but yeah definitely recommend a visit up to Tady national park and also the cable car as well if you can do it even if you can't do the cable car the drive up and the different stops along the way are still definitely worth it so i wouldn't worry too much about the cable car uh, still definitely get yourself up there Next on my list, if you are here in January, is the Three Kings Parade in Adeki on January 5th. That starts at 4 p.m. and will last for five hours. It is a big King's Day is what they celebrate over here in Spain. Rather than Christmas Day, they celebrate King's Day on the 6th. So on the 5th of an evening in the afternoon, the Three Kings will come in and it's a fantastic little parade. It's very festive. Everyone is in the mood. It gets very busy up there in Adeki. There's a few different parades. There is one in Los Cristianos. There's one in Santa Cruz as well. I've gone for the Adeki one because I find that the most traditional and it is just, it is my favorite. I've been to it before. I love Adeki old town up there. And that is my pick for that one. If you can go up, make sure you leave plenty of time. Parking might be a bit tricky as well. But if you can go up there and see the Three Kings Parade or even some of it, you don't have to do the full five hours. It's very festive. And it's something unique to Spain, Canary Islands as well. Something you don't see uh, back in the likes of the UK and other places uh, is they, they do really go to town on the King's Day. Everyone's dressed up. Uh, the Three Kings are on the... It's really unique, very festive. I'll throw some pictures up on the screen there. And it is very good to see the dancing going on. They normally have concerts with it and things as well. So definitely check that one out if you're here in January. Next on my list is the King's Day sales on the 7th of January. Uh, so like our Boxing Day sales back in the UK, they have King's Day sales. So on the 7th, which is their Boxing Day technically, you will see all the sales going on in the likes of Siam Mall. I uh, highly recommend a little visit to them. You might find some bargains. They're busy, bear that in mind. Parking again is difficult, but if you can go, if you're into your shopping and your sales and your bargains, definitely try and get to the King's Day sales. They'll also have some big ones up in Santa Cruz as well, if you can get to the shops up there. But that's my other little recommendation, a visit to Siam Mall for the King's Day sales on the 7th of January. 
And finally, I will mention again Adeki Old Town because there is so much going on. Uh, Christmas returns to Adeki markets, carol singing, theatre, nativity scenes, arts and crafts, concerts and the Three Kings. On December the 23rd, uh, they will give a Christmas concert starting at 8pm uh, with limited access. There is also Christmas markets up in Adeki as well on the 27th, 28th and 29th. There will be a market on the main plaza there with a series of fun activities for all of the family and on December the 20th Big Bang will be on stage in concert as well so there's always something going on pretty much up in Adeki Old Town definitely recommend a visit up there there's some lovely restaurants up there as well lovely bars that you can go to it's a very traditional field town uh, up there so definitely want to visit there without if you don't want to go too far there is christmas in santa cruz as well you can go a bit further afield but if you want to stay quite local a decky old town is jam-packed with things to do as well and lastly my little bonus pick this is probably an 11th bonus pick is to go and walk the dogs up at k9 christmas time uh, is quite important for the charities and if you want to support uh, the, a local dog charity here up at k9 just by the airport you can go up and you can walk some of the dogs uh, that are in the kennels there waiting to be adopted uh, or you can go and leave a donation or drop off some dog food or drop off anything blankets things like that but it is very rewarding to go up and take some of the dogs for a walk it's free to do you get nice fresh air it's quite easy to find as well so that is my other recommendation is to pop up and walk some of the dogs up at canine rescue center and uh, give them a bit, of, a bit of support give a dog a walk Christmas time as well we all know it. our dogs not just for Christmas it's for life uh, we do seem to get a bit of a, an increase in abandoned animals over the winter period uh, especially as times get harder as well as they are with cost of living and things like that so it'd be great to support some of those charities there is other animal charities out there as well that you can support but I know with canine you can go up there and they're happy to let you walk some of the dogs uh, I recommend going in the morning time if you can but uh, I will leave the link in the description for K9 as well so you can check them out and see exactly where they are. So that is going to be it from me. I hope you did enjoy it. I hope some of those picks uh, have raised a bit of interest with you. If I've missed any in particular that you love to do over the winter period, do let me know down in the comments. Uh, plenty to check out. I will leave all of the links to these things in the description, the car hire, the buses, uh, also the article that tells you what is going on up in Adeki Old Town. Uh, some other little articles that might help you out this winter. One important reminder is to please stay safe. That is in terms of pickpockets, thieves, leaving things in cars. Uh, winter time is the busiest period for thieves out here. Uh, so do be very careful. Maybe don't take your wallet out with you, just take cash. Don't leave anything valuable in your cars. Be careful of your surroundings and who is around you. Be very careful in the markets, in all these busy festival areas, these concerts, these parades. These are prime targets uh, for pickpockets and thieves. Because it's so busy, everyone's distracted, huddled together. Uh, so do be very careful. I hope it does help you out. Have an amazing time if you're over here this winter. Don't forget as well, just because it's a little bit cooler, because it's winter time, does not mean that the sun is not strong. Make sure you cream up. Do wear a hat and look after yourselves. You will still burn December, January, whatever month. If you're out in the sun, you will be catching the rays and you will still burn. So do be very careful with that as well. Thank you very much for watching and uh, stride on. Have a fantastic winter period over here in Tenerife.